Hey, good morning. Welcome to the Village Loafer here in Doi Saket, Thailand. I'm going to make a short video today about what I do with a Bannerton basket. If you've baked sourdough bread, we've all had that time when we take it out of the Bannerton and we try to put it on a peel or take it from the Bannerton into the Dutch oven. And either it sticks to the Bannerton or for whatever reason you deflate the loaf. Um, so what I did is I used parchment paper. Some people like the design of the flower on an unlined Bannerton basket. And yeah, it does look nice. Uh, and I've tried it flowering the Bannerton, using the liner in the Bannerton. And sometimes you have a problem and uh, you wait all that time to proof and you lose the loaf trying to handle it so much and get it in the oven. So what I started doing is I used parchment paper. And what I found is when you use parchment paper, it helps to crumble it up a little bit. So that's what I do. And I'm going to line a round mannequin. I crumble it towards the center like this. And I kind of just make it the shape I'm going to use, right? It's very simple to do this. Push it down into the banneton and then I just take a pair of scissors and I trim off all the extra extra. And there you have it like this. So once you got your, dough, your, your loaf all shaped <coughs> and you're ready to put it in the banneton, you put it in here. But when you're using parchment paper, you're going to do it back. You know, usually we put the seam side up. So when you flip it out, you've got the round top. But if you're going to use this method, you put the seam on the bottom. So let it proof up in the basket. And then... I do this all outside. I have a commercial steam injection convection oven that I keep outside. And after this is proofed and I'm ready, I take it out. I do this right beside the oven door. I'm going to, usually I spray the top with water. And I put quinoa seed or golden flax seed on top. I'll, uh, once I do that, I'm gonna hit it real quick with the Manitin, and then I'm gonna pick this up, put it right in my Dutch oven, put the cover on right in the oven. It eliminates all of that handling of trying to get it out of here, get it on the peel, clean off excess flour, uh, and score it. And sometimes, you know, we've all ended up with a deflated loaf by the time we did that. I think you should try this method. It works really good. Even if you put a wet dough in here, it still doesn't affect this paper. You can put a wet dough in here and you can bulk proof it in the, uh, bulk ferment it in the refrigerator for 12 to 18 hours overnight. And still tomorrow when you pick this basket, up, pick the parchment paper out of the basket, it's gonna work very well. So it eliminates all the handling. So I find that I really like this. Afterwards, you don't need to clean the banneton. The banneton stays clean. You put the paper in the Dutch oven, you put this back on the shelf. No messing around, no washing, no trying to get the caked flour out of the seams. I think it works pretty good. So just sharing that with you, give it a try. Let me know in the comments section what you think. Okay, stay tuned for the next Village Loafer. Bye-bye.